Welcome, true seekers, to the Tarot Temple. Here is Spirit Vibes. I am back with another work in money for Scorpio. Sun, moon, rising on the cusp. C-U-S-P. If you fit the description, please stick around. The forecast may pertain to you. However, if it doesn't fit, please acquit. With that being said, remember to give all these a thumbs and to check the description box on ways to reach out to me as well as how to make your purchase. Now I am ready for you to sit back and prepare for your messages from source through me for your working money week of August 9th until the 15th. I hope you enjoy it and please stay awake. Welcome back Eagle Feathers to your weekly work, money, and spiritual guidance. I want to thank all newcomers or my newcomer um, who joined last week the Tarot Temple for their personal self-elevation. So I'd like to congratulate you for that. And be sure everybody give everybody a great welcome because this is your home, all right? This is our temple, okay? So let's do it together, all right? We're going to go ahead and get started and see what's happening this week because now is the time. Overall, you have the Page of Wands here. And that is based on the Knight of Cups. You can expect the Six of Swords, okay? And that's stemming from the Page of Swords with your outcome as the Tower. Conflict and our channel supportive energies will discuss momentarily. We have the Four of Wands. This energy, this action, this event, whatever this is, is, is all over the place. We have the four of wands. And why am I hearing misdeeds in the four of wands? Well, I guess it could be like if it's a business or a workplace. So that lets me know misdeeds are going on. This could also be marriage, commitment. Misdeeds. Where did that come from? Straight source. That's all it could. That's all it could be. I'm an intuitive. I do read cards. But I always look for the intuitive message. It may not make sense even to me when I see it or when I feel it. Okay? But I got to go on that truth. And I'm also hearing there's some enlightenment about a commitment or a marriage or coming together. This is like husband and wife, marriage, commitment, whatever this is. This is the, the, the bed of consummation. Somebody's enlightened about this. I don't know if it's the masculine or feminine or both of them, but they know. Somebody know. And it's all stemming from this page of swords. I don't know why I went here first. I don't normally do that, but I'm free will. I go where source tells me to, so follow the storyline. Um, page of Swords, okay? So they've been investigating it, looking into it, checking it out, um, getting the information. This is personal. This is different from some personal information, you know? Um, somehow your moon sign may be aligned to this. If there's a moon alignment here. That's why I tell you, know your birth chart. Know your birth chart. Know your placements. Know your placements. Even if you don't really know your birth chart, you don't have to know how to read it. But know your placements. So when you come into the temple or anyone's um, home that you visit, I may not be the only place. You know, I'm not afraid to give props to some of the sisters or even the brothers out here that's in tarot country doing this. You know, um, that they may have other clues for you, you know, but just remember this is your first home. <laughs> so, yeah, this is like taking a straight um, bird eyes view. Some people, that's what I'm hearing, and some people are getting by the messages or what they're being reported, hearing, or what someone is saying. They are intuiting this, and it's based on the Knight of Cups. Now, this is a uh, dream lover, dreams, the land of dreams. This uh, reflects um, like 
magical things happening. Um, it can even represent pregnancy. Um, of following your highest or your, your higher order, okay? Because the Knight of Cups um, is all about the Holy Grail, okay? It's all about the Holy Grail. What does God want me to do? Like, what, what would God, what, what, what kind of career would, would God like for me to be? Because we need to understand that um, the Most High, would, you know, everybody has a concept of, the supreme, you know, those who have a belief of the divine supreme being, you know. But I know that most people that I know want to follow the order of God, you know, their their higher self. And that's what this is about. But we can really find out the reason before we get into anything else, okay? I already know the reason. You need to figure out which way to go because I'm looking at the overall energy with the page of wands. Now, for some of you, I don't know if this is east or west. I wanted to say something else, but it's east, west. Maybe for some of you, it's whether you want to go north or south. But I'm seeing east and west strongly. Here, you need to go. You know, I don't know if this is size of towns or just some train of thought or you want to go to the east or the west wing. I don't know. You should... If it resonates, if it pertains to you, if this message pertains to you, you will know it. Just like any other truth, you can't hide from it. You know, I remember back in the day when they used to say, I went to church and it seemed like the preacher was talking straight at me. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. He was talking to everybody. But that truth was hitting your ass. That's all. Truth makes you come clean. It purifies you. Even if it hurts, even if it makes you angry, it is a hard pill to swallow, but it is a purification antidote. It's, God don't want you stuck in a lie. God, the Bible said God hates a liar. That's what that's what the that's what that Bible that, that's what it's okay. Queen of Cups, let me move on because see a lot of people didn't know I knew the Bible. <laughs> I was raised in a church. Okay, I used to remember the scriptures from Genesis to Revelation. But when I changed my journey and I came into new truths, you kind of, when you do that, you will throw it away. <laughs> but you will at some point find yourself going back and picking it up again because it's a necessary language. So, the, and it's still a lot of truths in the Bible. You know, there's a lot of myths, but there's a lot of truths in it. Okay. So here we are with the Queen of Cups. And this is someone who has a lot of insight. This, is, this makes sense to me. This is a helper. You may have gotten a helper. This is a psychic, a medium, a coach of some sort. Like when it comes to health care, your health, this is a good health coach. This is a good dietitian, a nutritionist, a nurse. She knows her stuff. She knows the queen of cups is more detailed and in tune with the body than most doctors. People would know that she she can save a doctor. He can end up making the wrong. She can she can let him know in the surgery room, doctor. She'll know, and if he listens, he'll save a life. That's how dynamic she can be. She can connect you with the right person. If you need some soul, she can look right into you. Know what? Go to this person right here. Insightful. She'll get you your money. <laughs> She'll get you your money. Um, but what can you expect, which is not too bad, this is a great thing, is to move on, to float, float, float on. Some of you floating on out of the country. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if you leaving this. This is India for some people. China for some people. You leaving, you're going across the globe. Some of you are just returning, going back to a place, you know. But whatever it is, you leaving um, some of your mental challenges behind, you know, maybe it's not the best spot to be in, you know, some of you, this is world travel, okay, international travel here, mm, 
Now, um, again, I'm hearing this again about something being coined. I don't know if this has to do with like a seal. I don't know if it's the Navy seal, family seal, country seal. It might have to do with your passport, you know, the seal on your passport. So expect that. And this is because you you did the research. You looked into stuff. You know exactly where you want to go. Like, again, some of you may have gotten some help. And you're following your heart. Again, this could be education. Okay, some of you may be traveling out of the country, which you do. International students everywhere. Okay. Am I going to go east? Am I going to go west? Now, that's what I'm feeling the most. I'm just going to throw the north and the south up in here. But the outcome is... Whatever this is, it's a total shock. Your, it's like a third eye shock. You're going to see into something based on following your heart. I don't know if this is... This could break something apart. Now, this is a building. Like a demolition going on. This could break something apart. This is the upper room. Oh, I remember. I did one. I think it was last year. Or it could have been the year before. So, look for that video as a link. The upper room. The upper room. It's going to break something apart. I don't, I don't think nobody getting hurt, but it looks like it's going to lay somebody flat on their back. I don't know if this is the shock of a lifetime. This might even break up an institution. I don't know. This is, wow. What's going on, Eagle Feathers? Because this is definitely a third eye. E -e -e -e. I don't know if it may lay you flat on your back. I don't know if you flabbergasted or. Oh my goodness. I want to move from that. Let's see what your conflict and a challenge is. It's the Ace of Wands. Okay. That's that Snap P. The Snap P may be. Snap P may be your. Um, your dreams. Your goals. That's what a Snap P represents. P. I know I haven't been feeling well lately, so I had to come out to dress all up. I just need to get y'all messages out today. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm just going to throw that out there. Um, lineage, time, the, like the existence of your lineage, conflict. I've been talking about this in the temple. Am I bringing conflict to the temple? Yes, because you need to wake up. It's part of my job. And you can't be no punk serving the most high. You know, can't, we all run because it's certain, like I said, certain things we don't want to do. I'm, I'm telling you, the most high can drive a hard bargain. But you was chosen because you was built for this shit from the beginning. You ain't no punk. You ain't no punk about your work. You wish it would try to fuck with you in your work. You know what I'm saying? You will stand by it. Now, the cups going to follow their heart. They're going to follow their holy grail. This is true. This is the dream. This is the hope. You see what I'm saying? Sex for some people. I don't know if you need to agree to having sex or some, or some agreement in sex. But something about sex also is a conflict here. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay, so some of y'all may have a conflict with a beetle over some sex. Why? But what's going to help you is the magician. <laughs> some of you are to try it. You <laughs> Try it. You put your finger in it. I don't know what that be. But this is taste tested. What she's showing me, this is taste. It doesn't even make sense to me what this is about. Okay. Okay, so maybe you need to test the course. Try the course. Um, put your dream, put your dream, you know, test it. Try it. Put it out there. Just do the damn thing. I mean, you're a magician. Use what the fuck you got. You ain't got to have a million dollars. It was so relieving when my uh, my big sister told me one time, why do people think they need millions of dollars to start a business? You know what I told her? I said, because that's what they taught us. See what your education will get you? Lies. That's why a real education starts with you. You have to do the work. There is no academic institution that can really educate you. When you are educated, you are total spirit mind body and soul that's education knowing what to do in all those parts knowing when to respond and when not knowing when to, to respond because you have the information you know knowing when to be hood and then when to show class is an education everybody don't know that it's a time to be hood and talk shit then there's a time to be intelligent you don't need to be hood talking shit in an interview be careful even when they being lax with you because that's a test sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I don't know who needed to hear that. Let's go ahead and get started with your spiritual vibe order. Come as your spirit source. What news do you have for my eagle feathers? Wonderful. We did it three times. Again, I'm hearing bubble gum. You need to chew on something. It's in your soul. This is in your soul, baby. She's showing me something else. It may have to do with... I'm hearing ashes. Or maybe a death. I don't know. I don't know why she's showing that to me. Okay. Let's see what the underlying energy is. You need to masticate on something. Real, the underlying energy is real churchy. You know, I don't know if you need to go to church. Some of the underlying energy is that you have to go handle some businesses. This, this look like, you know, like professional business. You know, like, you, you just don't show up in the room in blue jeans, bruh. This is like talking to people, to me, with, with, with some money on the table. This is, you need, something's in your soul. You need to think about that. You need to chew on that. Don't, you need, you know, maybe you're blowing it off, or you, but maybe it's being blown up. Maybe it's be, be, being made more out of it than it is. I don't know. Okay, source. Um... I don't know if this was cause I'm supposed to be losing. Okay. She just told me to use the African card. Let's find out, dear source. Please give us the reflective for my beautiful eagle feathers regarding their spiritual vibe oracle message. Oh, we'll this is going to be so fortunate for you. And some of you, this may have to deal with. Um, this is the two of cups partnership, uh, a soulmate maybe. I'm not uh, choosing a soulmate of sorts. I don't know. Yeah, that's the underlying energy. You're going to arrive to a conclusion, baby. You need to think about that. You're going to arrive to an, a, a conclusion regarding your path. I think you're going to know exactly what to do. And on that note... I'll close it out here, Eagle Feathers. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Tarot Temple. Don't forget to give me some thumbs because I forgot to pass around the collection plate. 
and uh, check the description box and I'll see you hopefully next week peace and one love